Okay, so Dak Shepard revealed that he relapsed after becoming addicted to painkillers following his motorcycle accident this year. The actor, who has been sober for 16 years, by the way, came clean about his struggle on his podcast, Armchair Expert. Listen. For the last eight weeks, maybe, I don't really know. You would know better than I would. Uh, I'm on them all, the, all day. Mm -hmm and I'm allowed to be on them at some dosage because I have a prescription and then I'm also augmenting that. And then all the prescriptions run out and I'm now just taking 30 mil oxys that I've bought at whenever I decide I can do. Oh man, Dak said he told his wife Kristen Bell and his podcast co-host Monica Padman at, about the pills at the same time and said he was embarrassed to talk about this relapse because his sobriety had inspired others to stay clean, Wow, uh, un I have so much emotion right now, I can't even verbalize it. Number one, I'm very proud of Dak Shepard. The fact that he felt so much weight, Al, to not be um, honest about his recovery when most people don't understand that you, there's gonna be slip ups, right? Yes. And you have to understand that that's part of it. Um, but I, I applaud him and I'm just so sad that he feels, um, that he had to keep that all to himself because of the stigma and the pressure. Well, you know, uh, Sam and Jeff, uh, I've run a weekly uh, men's sobriety Zoom call, and uh, one of the guys on the call said something really interesting. Uh, he's actually in AA, and he said one of his sponsors, when he didn't tell his sponsor about uh, wanting to go back and start drinking again, his sponsor said, how dare you rob me? of that, of, of reminding me why I stay sober and helping you stay sober. And I think Dax needs to remember that as well. This is this is a marathon in terms of your sobriety. And if you if you trip and you, and you get a cut on your foot, you don't start the marathon over again. You tape it up and you get back in the race. Yes. So I hope that he does the same thing and realize this ain't a movie, bro. It's gonna be a day-to-day, hour-to-hour fight, and you are gonna slip up sometimes, and being honest about it is only gonna make people uh, listen to you more. And people are gonna relate to him even more now, Jeff. Yeah, the, the pressure that, I mean, I deal with this too, that you put on yourself socially to try to be this perfect person in the world, it, it's, it's not attainable. It doesn't exist, and Dax Shepard is no different. He's gonna fall off the horse once in a while. You gotta get back on the horse and keep going. Like Al said, I know he feels bad because he, you know, he, he, he couldn't be perfect. And that's human beings, though. That's human beings, and he's going to do better, and he's going to inspire even more people. So I'm trying to say here is good on Dax, and nobody's perfect, man. Get back up and keep fighting. Yeah, we support you, Dax. We really do. And I can only imagine so many people listening to that podcast and even watching the show right now don't feel so guilty if they have a slip-up because of him being honest. So uh, I and think we also need to have a real honest conversation, Sam, about what prescription drugs have done to this country. Oh, my gosh. And we, we yep. just keep trying to talk around it and opioid crisis and all this kind of stuff. It's taken so many uh, celebrities that we love, so many uh, regular folks that I know, that you know, and it, it's just like it's the issue we don't talk about. I know. We don't discuss it. I hope, you know, I hope that people can uh, educate themselves on it if they don't know too much about it and that we really do advocate for reform and accountability mm -hmm. from those pharmaceutical companies. And the doctors prescribing Amen. them. There is a middleman here, bro. Amen.